Video 2.3 Three Ways of Accessing AWS Cloud In this video, we will cover the following topics. AWS Console AWS CLI SDK Well, now that we know the basics of cloud computing and AWS global infrastructure, let us check out the different ways of accessing the AWS services. Let me first come to the easiest way of accessing AWS, the AWS Management Console. The AWS Management Console brings AWS to your computer or mobile phone with a secure, easy to access web based portal. You can discover new services, manage your entire account, build new applications, and learn how to do even more with AWS. To get started with the AWS Management Console, all you need is an AWS account and a supported web browser. The console makes it easy to configure services, find new AWS services, view service usage, etc. With the console, you can quickly update user groups, build applications, troubleshooting issues, etc. So what can you do using the console? Try out any AWS service with just a few clicks. Build and scale powerful applications. Manage and monitor your account. Cool, right? Let us go hands-on with AWS Console. Go to the browser and search for AWS Management Console and go to the first link. Sign in to the AWS account using user email address and password. You can search all services using names or keywords here. By scrolling down, you can see all services of AWS. Now, what is CLI? It is a command line interface. The AWS command line interface CLI is a unified tool to manage your AWS services. Downloading this one tool you can configure, control multiple AWS services, and automate them through scripts. The benefits of CLI? Easy to install. Supports all AWS services. Saves time. Scripting. Let us go hands-on with AWS CLI and learn how to install CLI for Windows. Go to Browser and search for AWS CLI and go to the first link. I will show you how to install the CLI for a Windows machine. The process for installing it on a Mac is identical. Click on 64-bit Windows installer. After downloading, click on the application and run it. Follow the screen and install the CLI interface. Now go to the command prompt and make sure you are in the root directory. Type the command aws-version to know the version you have installed and ensure the installation. Now scroll down and click on AWS command line user interface. Here you can check on what is AWS CLI, installing AWS CLI, Configuring AWS CLI, using AWS CLI, and with AWS services, security, etc. For more information and commands, check out the AWS command line user interface guide link provided in the video resource. Now comes SDK. Okay, what exactly is SDK? SDK stands for the Software Development Kit. It's a set of software tools and programs used by developers 
to create applications for specific platforms. SDK tools include a range of things including libraries, documentation, code samples, processes, and guides that developers can use and integrate into their apps. SDKs are designed to be used for specific platforms or programming languages. SDKs take the complexity out of coding by providing language-specific APIs for AWS services. Using SDKs, you can easily develop applications on AWS in the programming language of your choice. We can use JavaScript, Python, PHB, .NET, Ruby, Java, Go, Node.js, C++, for AWS SDKs. For more information about SDKs and programming toolkits for AWS, check out the link provided in the video resource. Let us go hands-on with AWS SDK. Go to Browser and search for AWS SDK and go to the first link. Here we can see various programming languages such as C++, Go, Java, JavaScript, .NET, Node.js, PHP, Python, Ruby, upon which AWS SDKs can be built. Now scroll down to see different tools such as CLI tools, IDE toolkits, IoT device SDKs, mobile SDKs, etc. Summary In this video, we have covered the following topics AWS Console, AWS CLI, SDK. Section Summary In this section, we have covered the following topics The basics, AWS Global Infrastructure, Three ways of accessing AWS Cloud. In the next section, we will get started with creating an AWS account.